Okay, my quick review on the PlayStation Conference. Now, it will take a good 10 minutes like most people, or 20 minutes or 30 minutes to actually review this. However, since I did so many videos on this already, and all the stuff that PlayStation is actually bringing out. But before I continue pressing it now, pretty cool. You could play video games without the console. You could play it with just a more control. You could play it on your PS3 as well, apparently. Huh, interesting. PS Vita and the PS4. You could play PS3 titles, PS1 titles. So far, they did not include the PS2 titles yet. Hopefully, those will come pretty soon. The YouTube feature on the PS4 is amazing. You can actually click the share button and automatically send it directly to YouTube, your gameplay. Hopefully, the share factory will actually work simultaneously with this to make a, a vast sharing experience. It's a, also, it's a lot of any games coming as well. Uncharted 4 will announce. Um, Blood, Blood, Bloodborne was announced as well. Uh, we also found out that that on the order 1886 was delayed to February. A little bit big planning was announced and a whole lot of third party titles as well. Sony actually showing that they could they could be versatile, they could actually share the experience. They all about media, social media and actually having everybody connected to each other and enjoying gameplay with your friends and family. That is exactly what they trying to go for. And they actually pulling out all the stops. It look look amazing from the first party exclusives to the third party exclusive that we already know about. Um, the atmosphere was slightly eh, but most games that they showed, like the order we already seen, a little bit planning with a surprise. There were no ridiculous bit surprises that actually were exclusive. Sony, most of the big surprises like Dead Island 2 is on all the consoles. So, other than that, it's you know basically the same old, same old promoting the network, promoting the apps, promoting the three to five games that they actually announced. Um, a little let down due to the fact that I didn't see Kingdom Hearts, um, Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15. I want to know more about those games. I want to see Last Guardian. I want to see a new God of War for some reason. And I want to see some form of a new, another new IP beside, you know, Blood and Bloodborne. Bloodborne was amazing. I already said that in my previous video that the, it was just so gruesome, and so gory. It was a type of game that just made me just want to actually play a goddamn a goddamn dungeon crawl on game cause I don't like dungeon crawl or RPGs. I'm usually into you know JRPG style like Final Fantasy, the Tale series, something of that sort that asks the entire meal. Something that NIS NI, I mean NIS America made. That's 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 my whole damn style of RPG gameplay. Um but due to the but due to that I'm still I'm still getting it though. I don't know why it just it just stuck out to me. They saw a few Vita games. I already explained that in the video. You see, here was the thing about me doing all those videos that I just did. It kind of destroyed my review due to the fact that I already announced all the games. So next year, next year, I'm going to do all that in one video. That's what I should have did, but I didn't want the damn video to be like a good 30 goddamn minutes. Um, but the future looking pretty good for the PS4. 2015 look like it's going to be a year that most of us are going to put our PS3s aside. Let it collect dust for a while. And just wait, wait, time out. Now we put Sony 5 and um, Tales, of, Tales of Hysteria coming out next year. But besides those two games, it look like I'm going to finally be able to play, like actually just sit down and enjoy my PS4. Because I'm mostly on my PS3. For those who actually friends with me on PlayStation. You just see me basically on Crunchyroll, Netflix, or Amazon Prime, but hopefully I'll be off playing online with some of you guys multiplayer. A lot of people just send me group chat invites and shit like that, but I mostly be <laughs> be watching something, so I'm like, I can't talk to somebody while I'm looking at a movie. I'm not going to pay attention to you, so that's the thing, but like I said, it looked bright. 
Clay Hay did his thing. I get a star, so a starlet um, B plus. The thing is, my whole thing is they they spend a lot of time experiment like to talk about how many people looked at this, how many people did that, how many people do this, and as, talk about sharing in the community. That could have been time to explain a little more exclusives or give Vita a little bit more light. Um, but it's all uh, it's a solid B plus to me. Sony did its thing. I have not looked at Microsoft. I didn't see Nintendo. I'm not planning on looking at those due to the fact that I already seen like basically what all is actually coming out with. And like uh, like I said, hopefully we get an announcement about Resident Evil because they did not announce that. But we're going to see what's going to happen in the next couple of days. But anyway, I tell you guys, thanks. Sorry for the short review, but you see all the damn videos I made. So it has been sure, sore as hell, to be honest with you. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.